here with a quick video just wanted to run through the different bidding options that facebook has in regards to uh in regards to their uh campaigns so facebook changed up a little bit um their manual bid options their cost controls basically um which is what they're calling them now and there's been a little bit of confusion because honestly they um they they both kind of sound the same. And, and this question came up on Reddit and I really wanted to kind of address this and kind of run through it because there, there does seem to be some confusion. So, um, you know, and also, sorry, I'm, I just got back from my morning run, so I'm a little disheveled right now, but, um, yeah, basically. So I'm in the ads manager right now, as you can see, um, you know, under budget and schedule, you're going to have your cost control options. Um, set a cost control option if you have a specific goal, cost goal. If you don't set one, Facebook ad system will focus on spending your entire budget and getting the most results. By setting a cost control, you're telling Facebook which results to spend budget on. If your ad requires a conversion window, use that to determine your cost control too. Certain controls are only available with some optimizations and ad delivery selections, right? So like um, if you're using CBO and you're using some... Uh, you know, some different bid strategies with that, that's going to change up whether or not what you can use, right? But basically, right, long story short, you have the option of cost cap or bid cap, right? So if I'm doing a link, I've just did a link click campaign, right? But classically, this works with conversion campaigns really well. Um, also, so basically, cost cap is average, bid cap is absolute is the way that I like to think about it, right? So Facebook takes these optimizations like link click, landing page view, daily unique reach, very, very seriously, right? So <clears throat> inside of that, they will, they will, you know, do their best to optimize for that specific goal. Now, when I look at, uh, when I look at doing these, right, there, there's a couple of use cases. Uh, I'll tell you the theory and then I'll tell you how I like to use them. So in theory, cost cap is, the idea that it's going to be your average cost, right? So Facebook's going to say, let's say I was doing a lead form campaign and I did a cost cap. That means, and I told it, you know, I can pay $50 a lead, right? That means Facebook is going to do its best to get me a $50 lead. Now, does that mean that it's going to be $50 every time? No. So Facebook's going to say, okay, you know, we got a $30 lead a few minutes ago we can also get this $70 lead. It's going to like basically average out to this $50 cost per lead, right? That's um, that that's kind of a, a good way of thinking about cost cap, right? Is like, if it's going to optimize for the average one. So not every individual uh, lead is going to be $50 or less. It's just going to average out to about $50. Now bid cap, is that very absolute um, version, right? It's gonna say, bid cap is saying, no, do not pay more than $50 per lead, period, right? So, it, you know, if you're gonna pay $50, if you're gonna pay, if you have to pay for more than $50, just don't do it. Like literally just don't serve the ad, right? So it's a little bit more absolute um, because it's, it's every individual auction right, that you're putting the cost cap in. You're saying, this is my hard limit on this individual auction. And, and the auction is important because that's every time a potential person in your audience comes up, you and everybody else's budget who is bidding on said potential person, right, is in an auction for them. Now, only one person wins, right, for every single ad slot. So, you know, you got to think about it that way. So you're saying basically hard stop. I will never pay more than $50 per lead for... Um, in this auction, right? So the times that I find this works, cost cap works really well if you're looking for an outcome. If I'm running conversion campaigns, if I'm running um, a lead form campaign, right? If I'm running them, you know, whatever, stuff like that. Um, that's when I find that cost cap works. So, you know, if I'm saying add to cart cost cap $25, like that's gonna be good because, you know, really ultimately I'm looking for volume at an average rate. I don't really care if that one individual one is a little bit higher or another is a little bit lower. Now, the other side of this bid cap, um, I've been working with some larger brands, right? Um, that are like, you know, CPGs on like major big box retail, um, you know, inside stores, right? If your goal is more kind of like awareness or clicks to your site or whatever, which are valid goals, they're perfectly valid goals and um, they work really well. The entire world isn't just uh, a direct response marketing, 
Um, in fact, direct response is a small part of it, um, though it tends to be the focus in a, a lot of um, Facebook marketing communities. Um, bid cap is what you want. So, you know, I have a client that has extremely aggressive um, CPMs, right? Like they're trying, they're saying, look, you know, our goal here is awareness. Um, you know, we're going into the holiday season. We just want as many people inside of our demographic to see this as possible. And, you know, our models basically say, you know, the most that we can pay is X CPM, right? And that that's an ag aggressive CPM. It's like 50% less than the average of the 2018 holidays, right? Um, and that's fine, but that means bid cap is what I've been using a lot of for that, right? Because no, actually I can't pay more than that. I have to, it, average isn't gonna cut it, right? Because if it goes above average, then I'm, I'm sunk. So, you know, and especially when you're spending like $10,000 a day or whatever, average, you know, can get out of control very, very quickly. So I've been using bid cap and that's been working really, really well, right? Because I'm saying, I don't care if I come later in the auction or other people exhaust their budgets first. I just need, you know, X impressions, Y reach, you know, Z video views, A link clicks at this cost period. I can't pay more. So that works really well for that. So, um, yeah, basically, like I said, we should recap cost cap. If you're looking for an outcome and you want an average bid cap, if you are, uh, looking for an absolute number that you can't go over. So thank you all for watching and happy marketing. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.